Hi guys, it's Colin here from Let's Talk Retro and uh, unfortunately this week James, due to work, work commitments, was unable to join me to do our usual weekly video uh, but I didn't want to leave you without a video so uh, so I thought I'd uh, just do this quick video showing you how to play retro games on any modern day Mac or PC completely free of charge uh, the only other thing you're going to need uh, apart from a PC or a Mac is an internet connection so the first thing you want to do is get your uh, browser open and uh, as you can see I've already got mine open on our website letstalkretro.com which if you haven't checked out it's a good place to go to uh, keep up the date of our latest videos and to see all our videos in one place rather than on YouTube. So the first thing you want to do is uh, set your browser to archive.org And you, when you've done that, you'll get this page and you want to go to this search bar down here and type in games library MS DOS. And then you want the first one in the search, which is this software library MS DOS games dated December 22nd, 2014. And uh, so click on that. So once you've done that, you uh, end up with our uh, archive of games that we can play. And you'll see there's uh, quite a few on here that you'll recognize. There's uh, Prince of Persia, which is a good game. Uh, there's a Pac-Man over here. Uh, there's a Donkey Kong. There's a Miss Pac-Man. Uh, it's Batman Returns. It's just hundreds of games that you can uh, play. And once you click on these, what they do is they open up in the the emulator. Actually, opens up in the browser and plays them in the browser. So there's no downloading at all involved in this. So I'll just give you an example with a uh, go to Prince of Persia. One of my uh, all-time favorite Amiga games. And uh, so once you've done that, you get this screen that comes out, tells you all about the game, which is quite good. And there's some reviews, what people say about it down the bottom. But what you need to do is go up to this sort of, looks like a Xbox 360 logo sign, and click to begin. And you get this comment that says, Game Metadata, Emulator Metadata, it's loading, and the game files loading, and DOSBox Launching Emulator. As you can see, the game is now loading. And you can go full screen. And uh, give the game a blast. Ooh, just subtly dropping in and then why not just run into the wall call good idea oh and I made that jump without landing on the spokes so that's good Oh, missed the jump. Oh, typical. But yeah, anyway, that shows you uh, that that one plays perfectly well. And we'll just go back to our games. So perhaps this time we'll go really retro and give this uh, Pac-Man a go. So again, it's just a matter of clicking on the uh, button to start everything loading. Here's our Pac-Man, ready to play. Let's go full screen. It's actually quite a nice, fast Pac-Man, actually. Not amazingly, not the best looking Pac-Man game you've ever seen. 
Definitely better than the Atari 2600 version. shows you that place that's a really nice fast version of pac-man actually let's uh, skip back and uh what else should we have a go at let's have a look at this uh aladdin remember playing this on the uh on the mega drive Oh, uh, so we've got some sort of anti-piracy. Need to go into the manual to put something. I wonder whether this has been uh, correct or anything works yet. Yeah, just press any button. That's quite good. I thought for a minute they were going to need the manual if we're going to play this, but luckily uh, we don't. Just trying to work out what the keys are, yeah. Playing this on a keyboard and I can't find the the key to hit anybody with. <laughs> Ooh, a bit hard to play with the keyboard that one, but uh, as you can see, it, it definitely works. So yes, I've uh, been playing these games just using the keyboard, which isn't always easy as you just uh, seen, but. Um, you know, I'm sure there's probably a way of cons configuring a joypad or a joystick that would uh, work with this. And uh, then there's hundreds of games you can you enjoy if you just want to have a quick retro gaming fix without spending any money, without having to buy consoles and games and things like that. Or if you're going on holiday and you're taking your laptop with you and you can have a, a good internet connection, then there's plenty of games you can play when you've got a spare few minutes. So, uh, yeah, definitely a good site to uh, check out. I mean, I could spend all day playing all these games. There's, there's absolutely hundreds on here. And uh, it's a shame I've got other things to do. Otherwise, I uh, would probably spend quite a bit more time playing all these. So, guys, I hope you give that site a go and relive some nostalgic gaming memories. And just before I go, don't forget there's several ways you can get in touch with us these days. You can follow us on Twitter at Let's Talk Retro. You can like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Let's Talk Retro. Or as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's our website, which is Let's Talk Retro.com. Don't forget there are plenty more videos on our channel. This one playing now is our very first episode of Games Mag Flashback we take a look at some interesting articles we found while looking through our huge pile of old gamer max so be sure to check that out but anyway guys until next time keep it retro and we'll see you soon <laughs>